All right, we're back. In this one, we are going to be going over layers. Now, don't be scared. This is where the real power of photo editing comes in, where you can manipulate and move things around in layers. This is how you really start to build compositions and make some really, really cool stuff. So, as always, I got to do it. I got to do it. We got to go to the top just to make sure your my screen, your screen looks like my screen. We're going up to window, studio, studio, reset studio. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, let's get a document going. We're going up to file, new, and uh, pick anything. I'm picking FHD. Okay, cool. So in the last video, or if you already know how to do this, we added some text and we added some shapes. So let's just go and add some random stuff here just to get some layers going. And you'll notice on the right hand side, this is where your layers panel is. So as we start creating things, this is going to start filling up. So let's draw a circle first. So I'm going to hold shift so I can make a perfect circle. I'm going to go over to my color up in the top right. You can also do it in the bottom left. I've got my fill circle selected. I'm going to make it red. Cool. Now, if you look in the layers panel, we now have a red circle. So in layers too, I'm going to point out, you can also click over here and I'm going to say red circle in case I don't know what it is. All right, cool. And you can also make it hide, bring it back by making sure this little dot is selected or not selected. Okay. Now let's draw uh, something else. I'm going to go back to the shapes. I'm going to pick a triangle. I'm going to draw it out. Now affinity is remembering the last color I used, which is red. And I'm also going to cough again. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, I had to. Okay, so let's change this color. So I'm going to change the color to uh, this blue, bluey type color. And I also, uh, if you look very closely, it's hard to tell, but I have a, it says I have a stroke on here. So I'm going to go over here to where the stroke is. I'm just going to turn it off, even though it doesn't really, can't really notice. So I'm going to turn it off. Okay, so now we have a triangle and we have a circle. And you can see the triangle right now is on top of the circle. So think of it like this. This is how things are stacked up. This is the bottom. This is the second layer. And I'm going to add a third layer right now. I'm going to pick a star. And again, it's remembering the last color I used. So I'm going to pick green, classic, classic green. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to say green star boy. Okay. Now we have three shapes. They all are on our canvas. And the way the order works is you see a red circle, a blue triangle, and a green star. So if I pull this circle to the middle, you can see that this blue triangle is hiding it in certain ways because it's technically sitting on top of it. This is what layers are, exactly, exactly what they're called, layers. So this triangle is on top. Now if I take this green star and I move it, it's going to be on top of all of them because it's the top layer. So that's how layers work. You can hide things, you can reveal things. This is what really makes layers powerful. So if I wanted to say bring the green star down to the bottom, all I have to do is click on it, hold, and as you see when I drag it, there's a little blue line that appears. I'm going to drag it right to the bottom. Now the star is on the bottom. And you can rearrange these any way. You can hide them, you can move them around. Just ignore what I did there because that, that's when you make child layers and clipping and masking, which we'll go on to a little bit later. But this is the, the, the basic idea of how layers work. Whatever's at the bottom is on the bottom. Whatever's at the top is at the top. Now you can move them around. Um, there's different um, functions to hide them, move them around, go backwards, go forwards with these little quick ones up here. I don't use any of this stuff. I just see it. I know what I want to do and I drag it. Again, you can pull them around by just doing this, bringing them top to bottom. And that is the main function of layers. I know this isn't very exciting, but once you see what you can do with them, once you start doing photo composition with different things, you a lot of times you hide skies and you do things behind buildings and whatever you're trying to do, this is how you do it. So layers panel, super important. Use it, love it, learn it, something else profound. But these are layers. I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit the like button and I'll see you in the next one.